Rooster Teeth is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Don't let your internet provider see all the sites you visit. Hide your browsing activity at expressvpn.com slash rooster. I, I've seen interviews with airline pilots who talk about landing at San Francisco. And they have a term for it. They call it slam dunk landings. Oh. Because they say that they're often instructed to stay high and then descend very quickly at the last second oh. to come into the airport. And they say that because they have to leave lower altitudes open for planes that are taking off that might be needing to turn. And it's just because it's a busy airport? Exactly. Slam dunk landings. Wow, that is not a <laughs> comforting term. It doesn't sound good. <laughs> but that could be at this point why they're talking about like, oh, we're a little high. You know, is this right? So when they reached the five mile mark, they were about 400 feet above the desired glide path altitude. So they're they're high. So when I mentioned a second ago that the autopilot was switched back to flight level change speed pitch mode, uh -huh. essentially what's happening here is at this point, now that autopilot, when it enters that mode, it's going to try to hit their go around altitude. So when they enter that mode, it thinks it needs to climb back up to 3000 feet. To try to do that, the plane increases throttle, but then the pilots pull the throttle back because, you know, their speed is too high and their, their, their altitude is too high. So they pull the throttles back to try to compensate for that, which is what starts to cause all of these problems. Because the autopilot still wants to try to get to 3,000 feet, so it starts pitching the nose up. So they, they had the wrong autopilot, or was it the wrong type of autopilot, or the autopilot set for too high? They were in the wrong mode. Okay. They should not have switched back to that mode. So the plane's trying to pitch up to get to 3,000 feet. It's trying to increase throttle, but then they also set the throttle back down, essentially to idle. Mm -hmm. The engines are at idle, the nose is pitching up, and they're still a couple miles from the airport. Oh, At this point, they're too high. So yeah. <laughs> essentially, you can see why the tail hit first. Like yeah. the plane's starting to pitch up, and that's what's going to cause the tail to strike. But that's going to happen in a couple minutes. We're still, we'll get there. Okay. So like we mentioned, the um, ILS was offline, but that's not the only system available to help pilots land. There's another system that pilots can use. It's called a, a POPI, P-A-P-I. It's the Precision Approach Path Indicator Lights. It's essentially mm -hmm. there's four lights next to the runway, and they're side by side, and they mm -hmm. either show red or white. If you're too high above the glide path, they show as white. If you're too low below the glide path, they all show as red. If you're perfectly on the glide path the way you should be, it's too white and too red. Oh, okay. You're supposed to see too red, too white. If you see four white, you're too high. If you see four red, you're too low. Just a quick summary. <laughs> Of, uh, of what they're seeing. So in this particular instance, all the lights were white at 1127. So they're too high. Yeah. And the first officer says, sink rate, sir. The pilot flying says, yes, sir. And a few seconds later, the first officer again said, sink rate, sir. Uh -huh. <laughs> the descent rate was almost 1800 feet per minute at this time. That's a lot. Is it a lot? <laughs> <laughs> That's too much. <laughs> so uh -huh. their, their, their sink rate's a little, a little high. The descent rate began to decrease you know, they're, they're making it not quite as bad. And the controller cleared the plane to land. They acknowledge this and the peppy lights at this point are three white and one red. So a little high. Mm -hmm. The airspeed then dropped below 137 knots and they began their landing checklist. When that was done, the pilot monitoring said, on glide path, sir. And the peppy actually showed two white, two red. So oh. they did it. The airspeed then descended below 132 knots, which was their landing speed, but they were one mile away from the runway. The sink rate was at 1,000 feet and the Pappy changed from one white to three red. So now, too low. The airplane's pitch increased from two degrees to four degrees, and the plane slowed to about 122 knots, which is 140 miles an hour. You say they pitched, so they went like kind of nose up again. Yeah, the nose is going up. Remember, like I mentioned earlier, yeah. the plane is still in the wrong autopilot mode, so it's mm. trying to pitch up. The Pappy then indicated four red lights, Ooh. and the plane is now pitching up seven degrees. Ooh. The pilot monitoring said, it's low, and the pilot flying replied, yeah. The master caution alert, which is like the big alarm, uh, or the, like the general alarm, I guess, uh -huh. sounded less than half a mile out from the airport at an airspeed of 114 knots, which is 131 miles an hour, and an altitude of 124 feet. So they're a half a mile out, or less than half a mile out, 124 feet in altitude, and 131 miles an hour. So they're really close, but they're really low, and they're uh, really slow. If you enjoyed that animated episode of Black Box Down, you can watch the next one right now over at the Black Box Down YouTube channel. Just click the link down below me. You'll go there. Do you like this one? You'll like that one. While you're over at the channel, don't forget to subscribe. There we get all kinds of new Black Box Down stuff over there.